What is a deadlock? How do I monitor it? And how do I do all of those things on Azure SQL Managed Instance? Those answers and more coming right up. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tales from the Field. My name is Bradley Ball, and it is so good to have you with us. If this is your first time making it over to the Tales from the Field channel, please make sure to give us a like and give us a subscribe. We have live videos that come out every Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesday, we interview someone uh, from Microsoft or from the Azure Data community. We play a bit of a game to determine who's going to host that week or next week. Uh, and then on Thursday, we have a community roundtable. We hope you will tune in with us. This is what we like to call our MS Tech Bytes, and this is going to be a video specifically on deadlocking. What is a deadlock? When you have queries running in SQL Server, they are atomic units of work. We talked about this in a previous video I did on ACID relational databases and transaction isolation levels. So what is a deadlock? A deadlock occurs when two or more transactions are blocked in an attempt to gain locks on database resources uh, that the other transaction needs. In, the, in this event, SQL Server handles the deadlock by terminating and rolling back the transactions, uh, which started after the first transaction. In, in layman's terms, the way I like to think about this is, pretend we got a couple of kids that are misbehaving uh, and they don't know how to share very well. Kiddo number one has a teddy bear, uh, but they also want to play with a fire truck. Kiddo number two has the fire truck, but they also want to play with the teddy bear. Cue the sound that every parent in the world knows, which is kids bickering and fighting back and forth over something. Kid number one, I want the fire truck. Kid number two, I want the teddy bear. Uh, don't make me turn this car around, right? Unlike parents, we don't have to solve this problem peacefully in SQL Server where we teach people to, tra uh, to share. We can just literally turn this car around. In SQL Server, uh, we settle this by looking at the toys as a complete set, looking at the data as a complete set that goes with one transaction, kid number one or, or kid number two. And the way we will decide this is a thing called FIFO, first in, first out, F-I-F-O. And so what we'll do is we will look at the transaction or the kid who had the toys first and they are the winner. They get all the toys. In this case, we will terminate or kill the query that came in second. We'll roll back any transactions associated with it. That's a very important thing to keep in mind when a query is terminated and it hits a rollback state. If there was a lot of things that it was changing, uh, that could be a long process. But in a deadlock, what's going to happen is the system will handle this automatically. So we can monitor deadlocks two different ways in Azure SQL Manage instance, but I don't want to tell you about it. Let's head over to the demo. All right, so I've got my SSMS window and I've got um, a couple windows open. I'm connected to my SQL Server Manage instance and I'm working on my AdventureWorks database. And so, uh, this is the context I'm using. You just need to be in any database. I'm going to create a couple tables, MT1 and MT2. You can see I've got this identified as just my ID integer, my ID char, pretty simple heap table that we've got, no clustered indexes on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert three rows, the number one, A, two, B, three, C, and I've got that for MT1 and MT2. Let's run that, we create it. Now I'm going to go over and let's start our transaction. In order to create the deadlock, I'm going to make sure that I've got my queries fighting over resources, and I want to monitor this with SQL Profiler. So we go to Tools, we open SQL Profiler. One quick thing to note, this isn't going to work with Azure Active Directory, but I can use this with the SQL login. Now why am I doing Profiler? Again, I told you there's two methods that we can do here, um, and it's important to understand this one. So if we look, there's no specific deadlock graph that um, we, we can select uh, right here. So what we need to do is go to all fields. We're going to go to locks, uh, and we're going to select the deadlock graph. Now, I, I should have unchecked some of these other columns to begin with, so let's just uh, close this. We'll scroll down and we'll uncheck some of these. I don't need the audit security. Um, that's just going to add a lot of noise to this. Uh, we don't need audit login. Um, 
under uh, sessions, I don't need sessions. You know what, under stored procedure, I'll leave our PC completed. I'll leave batch completed under T-SQL. And that's about all we need to be able to get this done. I'm gonna click run. Um, our trace is started. Now let's head back over to our SSMS window. And let's go ahead and let's kick off these deadlocks. So I'm back over here. We're gonna go to query number one, begin transaction, update DBO my table one. Uh, we're gonna update the character field. We're gonna do on the second one, MT1. And there we go. And now we're going to, uh, there's a begin transaction at the beginning. We're doing a select statement on MT1. That's just gonna run. MT2 is just gonna run, but you can see very quickly it gets selected as the deadlock victim. Query, our first one returns, our second one doesn't. Uh, let me zoom in on this error so you can see this a little bit. And it just says transaction process ID 120 was deadlocked as a lock resource with another process. And it has been chosen as our deadlock victim. Rerun the transaction. And that's what you'll get in the SSMS window. Let's head over to Profiler. And I can see that we indeed had a deadlock graph event. Oh, let me close that. Make this a little bit bigger. And you can see that we can we can zoom in, we can drag the graph as well to be able to take a look at this. And there's our red block. It's a red block because it's a heap. It's not a clustered index. Uh, we can see which session was killed, 120. Uh, it was the deadlock victim. And we can get additional information about the database uh, ID, the file ID, um, and the allocated ID where we had the issue. Back over in SSMS, I told you there's two ways to do this. So let's trigger our second one. Let me get this back to a regular size so we can all see it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, go over and I'm going to open up management. And you may not have known this, but there is an extended event running by default on every system. And if I open up under extended events and under sessions, there is the system health extended event. Included in that system health extended event um, is a deadlock. So if we right click on there and say watch live, let's drag this over to a window we're not gonna be using, we can trigger a deadlock event. So let's just run through the same uh, order of operations on our scripts. We'll begin our transaction begin our second transaction. Now we're going to do our first select statement against my table one, our select statement against my table two. Our second query will get selected as the deadlock victim again. And you can see we've now populated an XML graph right here. Now, if I take this XML graph, let me close some of these windows so that way we can see this. We'll just make this a little bit bigger. I'll, I'll commit the transaction, make this bigger. Uh, now I'm going to save this. Now we could just use the XML. We could work through the XML. I like the graph. The graph is pretty, right? Uh, and so I'm going to make this a, a nicer name that we can utilize. I'm going to save type as all files. And then I'm going to save this um, as an XDL report. And then I'm going to open that XDL report. So, yes, and bam, you can see it. We've got our deadlock graph there, and it's even interactive. I can drag it. It's the exact same thing that we had previously uh, that we were looking with profiler. Extended events is really the way that we do want to use this. So what did we just cover? We covered what is a deadlock? A deadlock is, of course, two transactions, two or more transactions attempting to get resource locks on the same items, not being able to come uh, to a cooperative way that that could actually occur. One of them is killed and rolled back. We talked about the two different ways that we can monitor this within Azure SQL Manage instance. Uh, the first being Profiler, which does require a SQL logon. We cannot do that with Azure Active Directory. And then the other is the extended event system. We could create a separate extended event just to track this, but we also have the system health extended event, which is provided default in every single managed instance. And you could open that up. And if you have deadlocks occurring, you could watch them uh, open up the XML graph and you could either work in the XML or you could save it out as an XDL file to be able to then load it as the graph. So that's basically how we do those two things. I want to thank you so much for joining us uh, over here on Tales for the Field, and we hope to have you join us again. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye bye. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. I think there's a reason though
ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they rot. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.